Hello everybody, Lunatic here with another Ninja Live. I'm going to see if we can't catch another live attack episode for you guys. Um, a lot of attacks already in. We've been dropping some good three stars, but we still got a lot of cleanup to go. Uh, hopefully we can get some good ones. I'll uh, let you know as soon as an attack comes in. Oh, looks like we got slow going in. Let's go ahead and watch this replay. Alright, looks like he's got, uh, I think that looks like three golems. I'm assuming he has one in the CC. All three golems going down, and he's got that funnel going. Wizard's going around the outside. Dropping those witches down. Wall breakers, go ahead and get him in there. He's got the earthquakes going down. Big, big wide open area for his, for his kill squad. Hopefully they can trigger some double bombs. There's got to be some in there somewhere. People like to put him in the core there. I'd guess by the expo somewhere. He's got his hogs going in already on the left side. Tracked into that Tesla. Everything's just distracted on his kill squad right now. That is very good. Went ahead and uh, three finger dropped his hogs in. Got the first hill going down. Lots of skellies beating on them, but it, they're standing in a hill, so it should be fine. Triggered a couple of those double bombs. Um, they weren't really double bombs. They're kind of offset, but still, he uh, he had a good timing on that hill there. A second hill down, right up there by those defenses. His hogs did get a little bit of a split on him there, but I think it's going to be okay. He's got another hill. There it goes. Just a few more defenses left. His hogs looks like they can take care of that pretty quickly. Once that cannon goes down, the mortar will turn around and start beating on those skellies. And this is a three star. Very, very good job by Slow here. Very, very impressed. Goes ahead and pops that queen's ability. She's still full health. Wow, what a beautiful attack. Definitely a three star and he's got a lot of time left, almost a minute and 40 seconds left. See how close he gets here, but um, I'm definitely over a minute left in the raid. So pre-update this would have been a win as well. Wow. Very good job. Let him know he was ninja live. Alright guys, I'll be back with the next one here shortly. Oh, we got another one. Chief Laquish going in on number 14. Looks like he's got a Govalo here. Four Valkyries. Two, three maybe. Th three Golems if he, that's what he has in his CC. I guess we'll see here. Triggered some Skelly Traps. Going here queen side. Doesn't look like he's going to draw the CC. Most of these guys have had a lot of hounds, so he might just be trying to ignore it, which isn't a bad idea. That queen is going to go down pretty quickly. Yeah, the king didn't even get a swipe on her. That wizard took her out. Dropped his jump. Everything should go right to the core there. Already's got his heel down. Oh, they have a dragon in the CC. That's different. We've been facing, uh, up until now, we've been facing a lot of Lava Hounds, so we'll see how that affects it. But uh, it's not hit, they're not hitting his Valkyries, so it might be okay. They need to get in there and destroy those. Okay, the Dragon's down. Once they get those air defenses down, he can get, begin with his Balloon portion. He's already going in. That confident that they're going down. <clears throat> I might have waited just a little bit. He's got plenty of time left, and those air defenses are still all up so they're going to get a few pop shots off on his balloons unnecessarily in my opinion but uh, they will be going down eventually and he's got so much balloons left I think it might be yeah it's going to be okay definitely still an overkill though it's just a very strong attack with these bases that have huge open cores all their air defenses in the middle like that if you have Valkyries that can go in there and just tear shit up very good job Chief Laquiche got one wizard tower left it's locked onto his golem so that's perfect that could have been bad if it got onto his group of loons there Valk's still on the outside tearing things up 
So many Valkyries left over. He's got six or seven there. Queen still full health. Just a massive overkill. Very, very good job. See how much time he's going to have left here at the end of the raid. You know, I'm, I'm getting very impressed with these Pactum Warriors with these attacks. We've been seeing some really good stuff. A lot of new strategies being used. Um, so yeah, it was, it was just a very impressive attack altogether. Good job. Let's go ahead and let him know he was ninja. We'll be back with another one. Oh, looks like we are back with another attack. Jesus Christ going in on their number nine. Let's check this out. Looks like he's got a Govaho. I know he loves the Govahos just as much as I do. Alright, he's got three golems going in. Whoa, a three golem Govaho. Very, very tanky. Uh, usually I only do it with two. We'll see how this goes. Got two wizards creating a funnel on either side. Got those wall breakers in. Opened up that compartment. Now he's got his heroes going in. And uh, there goes his Valks. They're all going to go right there. Oh, he actually broke open another wall. So they might go off the side there. We'll see what goes on here. He's got a jump that went down. Should bring most of his troops into the core. He at least needs to get that queen. Oh, there goes his Valks. They're going outside. Um, we'll see how much that impacts the raid. That's usually not a very good thing, though. Uh, Lava Hounds popped. His queen's going to be dealing with those pups for a second. Looks like he's sending in the hogs over where the Valks are tanking for him. So, yeah, like, like I said, it might not be that big of a deal because the uh, Valks are still tanking and they're still doing a lot of damage. They're still up. He's got a heal for him, keeping them up while they beat on some of these defenses. There goes the second heal. Those hogs are taking out the Tesla. Triggering another bomb. Doesn't look like this base has any double bomb spots, so that is a definite plus for this raid. Um, just that uh, Valk placement. You got to be careful because when you open up multiple walls like that, it's going to make your Valks go a different way. I mean, funneling is the whole thing with Valks, but you know, he this was such a weak base and he had such a powerful composition that he ended up powering through it but uh, very good job JC now it looks like it's just cleanup it's got wizards all around the outside as usual for the cleanup process queen still up in the green and uh, just gotta work on some of these storages very good job final pup goes down Right now we are making very quick work of these guys. We're doing awesome. Very good job, JC. Let him know that he got ninja'd. Nice. You got ninja'd. Alright guys, let's see if we can't get another one of these ninja lives here before we get out of here. Oh, looks like we get another one. Nikki is going in on number 7. Does everyone know she's being ninja? I spelled that horribly, but uh, let's go ahead and see what she does. So she's got a little bit of a funnel going on. Drops two golems, followed up by some wizards and her king. Got the wall breakers going in. Um, everything is going in nicely here. She's got Valks, it looks like. Nice big funnel for them, so there's nowhere else they can go but in that core. This is one of those very popular internet base layouts. Really sucks. Uh, I've seen this base three stars so many times. Just really bad layout. Drops a jump right there. That should get all of her troops moving where she wants them to go. She's single dropped her hogs all the way up there um, on the top. So they're going to run around the base and clean out some of these outside defenses. A hound's already popped. Um, I don't know if she has a, she's got a poison going on on uh, one side of that. But it's not really getting many of the pups. 
but the wizards and the queen might take care of those. Her Valks are all still alive, taking damage from all those uh, high HP buildings down here, all these big defenses. Her hogs are still standing still, and uh, heals, she's only got a few left over though. We'll see how this goes. Uh, her last heal spell did go down, and the expo's beating on them pretty bad. This looks like it might be a fail. Yeah, a little bit of a fail here. Um, this is one that could be easily cleaned up though. This isn't a very good base layout. Um, the thing is, with hogs, you really want to get those expos distracted. You do not want those expos shooting at your hogs, and that's pretty much what happened to Nikki here. So, it looks like it's going to be a zero star. Uh, she might be able to pick up the percentage here. She's got those pups still up. But, uh, either way, very good a try. Very good attack by Nikki. Let's see if she can pick up the one star here and at least get that loot. Yep, she's got the one star. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this, see if we can't get another one. Here, so oh, we got another one going on. Ah, oh, and I missed it. Facing East has already been in. All right. Well, uh, I think that'll do it for this episode of Ninja Live, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back next time. See you later. Lunatic out.